So this is the X carriage. Um, there's four holes right here. These are through holes. And basically this will clamp the linear rail to the carriage. Notice these two holes are tapped. Is it M5 tap? And these are through holes right here, right? So the through holes go up and the tapped holes go down. Now if you get it backwards, it doesn't really matter. It, I just think it looks better with the button head screw on top. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the Y-axis linear rail in position. I usually like to get a couple of these in just to hold it in place. Okay, so I have the clamps holding the rail down to the X carriage, right? Um, they're not tight. See, there's a little bit of wiggle. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda even this up. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I don't wanna tighten this up as is because it could be a little tilted, you know? It could be uh, not perpendicular with this rail. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these two motor mounts as a as a fixture now if you're using the plates instead of the stealth mounts you know you could you could mount a 20 by 20 frame extrusion you can just place it right there and bump up against it but i'm basically using this you know i'm using some kind of fixture it could be anything to hold the rail where it's parallel this frame or perpendicular to these two rails right so you, because you don't, if you tighten it down as is, it's kind of hard to get it perfectly straight. And also, you want to get these screws. You want to get them pretty tight. You, you don't want, you know, you definitely don't want to strip it, but you want to have it where it's not moving. You know, you don't want any wiggle. All right, so I'm gonna push it up. Use that to to square it up. And now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten while I'm pulling on it. I'm gonna tighten these clamps down. I'm just gonna do one at a time. Okay, so I got this, and it shouldn't wiggle. You should be able to take both sides of this rail and kind of twist it, and it shouldn't move, okay? It, it It's moving a little bit. What you're seeing is um, basically there's some tolerance in, in the carriage block, you know? So it shouldn't be able to um, jar back and forth. All right, you want it pretty tight. All right, so I'm gonna run it back and forth, make sure it feels like it's moving good. You wanna check yourself to make sure that you still have smooth motion, all right? This one's making a little noise. That's because uh, this rail is probably gonna get replaced. Uh, I was low on linear rail, so I used this one. This one is kinda old. I cleaned it up, it, it had some rust on it. Um, I cleaned it up, but it's gonna have to get replaced.